Welcome in Gemini Sun Moon Rising. This is your girl Uma B coming to you with your Taroscope for March. Hi guys. If this is your first time here, please feel free to click subscribe on my channel, show support by liking this video, and definitely drop a comment and let me know how this resonates for you. I love making new online friends, so please give me a chance to interact with you. All right, this reading is coming to all the Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs out there. Remember, this is a general reading, so take what fits and toss the rest. If you would like a personal reading, either for March or just a psychic reading into your question, please contact me on my social media channels. We have a new introductory offer for a first-time client to get a 10-minute reading only for $33. All right, without further ado, Gemini, let's jump in and see what March has in store for you. The affirmation of the month, Gemini, is I am ready. My intuition is always guiding me. I trust my decisions. Gemini, you are an air sign. You are very good at logically uh, thinking about things, analyzing things, and using your very strong intellect. Now we're going to couple that intellect with your intuition. And my, 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 you're really going to get a lot of clarity this month about a lot of things that have just been sticking you. I feel like you've had some open-ended questions um, waiting for these answers to come in. And I do feel March, you're going to be getting those answers. Now there is a goddess that has chosen you and the goddess is goddess siege. Siege is the goddess for you. Take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate and contemplate. Dear one, quiet your mind, breathe and let go of words, worry and plans. Go into that space of silence deep within you, that vortex of peace where the world doesn't enter. Now is the time to retreat in silence and spend time alone. I'll lovingly help you rejuvenate and recenter yourself. Don't try to make any decisions now. Just allow your mind to be at rest. You'll know soon enough when it's time to take action. But for now, quiet your mind and rest. So, the overall theme for you, Gemini, is you're being asked to take like a time out from the world, a retreat. Maybe some of you are taking a trip to like an ashram or going to the beach, or maybe some of you are just staying home and doing like a staycay, you know? Um, and remember, this is for Gemini, sun, moon, and rising. So this, this definitely resonates because you do have some topics coming up that is going to need all of your strength and all of your desires for clarity to come through. The very first card that we got for you, Gemini, is the Harmony card, okay? The Harmony card is for the month of March. Now, the Harmony card shows two people being connected through their hands and the heart chakras are lit up. So, Gemini, you have a possible love relationship coming in. Wow. Now, the way these two people look at each other, this is very much a soulmate connection. We have the Harmony card clarified by the Nine of Wands and the Ace of Swords. This is two-part here. For some of you, you have been really good about your boundaries, really good about your vetting process, really good at talking to people and weeding out what you want and what you don't want. So now you have this new energy coming in based on the refining of your energy and it fits. It fits perfectly. So for some of you, you're getting into a relationship with a new person that you, using the law of attraction, attracted to you by having a really good vetting process. For some of you, this is a reconciliation. The Nine of Wands indicated that you have been fighting, putting up boundaries, making all the right choices for something to come. The Ace of Swords is that new beginning you've been looking for with a past person. So Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, you're probably going to have some form of communication coming in from somebody from your past or from someone brand spanking new. Only you would know that. Remember, this is a general reading. You also have the Memories of Love card. That is why I feel strongly that for most of you, this reconciliation is with somebody from your past. You have the Five of Swords and Eight of Swords. This tells me that you were in your mindset about this person. This person caused you a lot of harm. 
The five of swords could be cheating. It could be betrayal. It could be disappointment. The eight of swords is you feeling trapped or unable to get out of a cycle. You've lost a lot of sleep over this person. You may have even had insomnia. And this person has been quite cruel to you with that five of swords energy. Really and truly, they were just looking out for themselves. But I have to tell you, Gemini, they're having a change of heart. Somebody from your past is coming back. And they're coming in with an offer of love. It is up to you, Gemini, to decide if you are still in this same place and wanting it or if you have moved on or if the damage has been done and it's too much damage to overcome. Your last card is a great card for you. It is the Throat Chakra card. The Throat Chakra card says that you are finding your voice and you are speaking up. We have the throat chakra card clarified by ten of swords and the strength card wow gemini this can go either way for some of you you are choosing to forgive this person from your past and you are choosing to move on with them together ten of swords the end of that difficult period that separation period this could indicate a moving in together getting engaged getting married with that strength card, it is a very strong forgiveness energy. Now, for others, you are, you are bringing somebody new into you by using that throat chakra. So you have been over this person from your past, and based off of what they did to you, you are now bringing in something new. You're using your throat chakra to attract to you what you really want. And that Ten of Swords card is telling me you're completely done with the past. You're completely healed from the past. That's that strength card, developing inner strength. And you're now ready for something new. Gemini's. The only way you're going to know whether this is a new person or somebody from your past is you have to follow the goddess Siege. And you have to create quiet time this month. Gemini's sun moon and rising the biggest thing I can tell you is you have to meditate this month take the time to reflect and introspect because the choices you make now are going to affect you for your long term for some of you you have a chance at marriage and a deeply committed partnership if you choose the right person and for some of you if you are not healed if you have not processed all the trauma and drama of your past, you can find yourself choosing the wrong person again. And that concept of your happily ever after slipping through your fingers. Your decisions this month, Gemini, are very, very important for your next steps and your future. So choose wisely, Gemini. Choose wisely. So this is the reading for the month of March. Remember, guys, if some of it fits, that's okay. If all of it fits, that's great. But if you would like a personal reading for March, please contact me on my social media channel, and I'm happy to set that up for you. Thank you, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I hope this message resonates. Please subscribe to my channel, click like on this video, and drop a comment and let me know. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next month for your monthly Tarascope reading. Bye.